Hi everyone, my name is Rain and this is my husband, Chano. We love traveling and sharing our adventures. Welcome to our channel, Rain or Shine. In March 2022, we spent eight days exploring the Peloponnese in Greece, visiting their monuments, admiring their landscapes, and enjoying their foods. And we also met adorable Greek cats. In our first episode, we shared our visit to the archaeological sites of Mycenae and Epidauros. To Argos, one of the oldest continuously inhabited cities in the world, and to the charming city of Naftio. If you haven't seen that episode yet, link in the description box. This is the second episode of our Peloponnese travel series. Watch until the end to discover more interesting places such as the ancient city of Sparta and the Byzantine mistress, as well as Monevasia, one of the most beautiful and best-preserved medieval towns in Greece. Thank you for joining us. From Argos, we drove for 1 hour and 30 minutes to the ancient city of Sparta, located in Laconia. Sparta was one of the most powerful city-states in ancient Greece. Its powerful army and military society, as well as its constant rivalry with Athens that led to the Peloponnesian War, shaped Greek history. Sparta was the main force of ancient Greece during the wars against the Persian Empire. Their fearless way of fighting will be forever remembered in the heroic Thermopylae event when a few thousand Greek soldiers, included 300 brave Spartans, led by the King Leonidas, resisted a huge Persian army for several days. There is no much left in the archaeological site of Sparta, but we didn't want to miss the opportunity of visiting the ruins of such an important civilization. Afterwards, we headed to the beautiful Byzantine ruins of Mistras. The archaeological site of Mistras is located just 8 kilometers away from the town of Sparta. Mistras, the last center of Byzantine learning and culture, had its zenith in the 14th and 15th centuries. Some events during the Ottoman occupation led up to their abandonment. Today, this UNESCO World Heritage is formed by an old town surrounded by walls, with a Frankish castle and a Byzantine palace on top of the hill. The most important remains in Mistras are the churches, with impressive frescoes inside. The site is much bigger than we expected, and we spent few hours wandering around. It was a very quiet hike for us, and we barely crossed our path with other visitors. We couldn't help but imagine how people lived in this town few centuries ago. I looked down on the path and felt how these same stones were once stepped on by real people in their daily life. At the foot of the hill is the modern village of Mistras, with traditional architecture and a nice square where we ate our lunch. We are driving to Monembasia from Mistras.
The castle town of Monemvasia is among the most impressive places in Greece. It was entirely carved on the backside of a sea rock in medieval times. Its location allowed Monemvasia to become an important trade and maritime center since the 10th century AD, but also attracted the constant attacks and its past from Byzantine, Venetian, and Ottoman rulers until the independence of Greece in the 19th century. In the past, the only way to reach Monevasia was by boat, but today, the island is connected to the mainland through a causeway. That's Chano right there on top. He's trying to look for his composition for tonight. Where are you? Can I see you? He said keep going up and there's an easy path here. But I'm wearing a dress, which by the way he requested, and... I don't know if there's a snake here or whatever. My my skirt got stuck. Ah. Ah. Past this thorny bushes. We are looking for Chano's location for his blue hour photo the view here is stunning look at him he doesn't care about anything when he is looking for his location he is very passionate annoying but passionate Because of my husband's passion to travel photography, I'm able to see all these beautiful places. I can pay travel tours anytime, but not a lot of tourists can come where we are right now in the best moments because he's taking sunrises and sunset photos. So I consider myself very lucky. It's already very dark and we're starting to go down now. I'm still wearing my long red dress and it's full of bushes around, all because of him. It's all because of you. You have to carry me down. Mela, wait for me. Oh, hi. <laughs> we are staying here in one of the most famous hotels in Monenvasia. We just booked one of the cheapest rooms because we're just gonna stay here for one night but they have really good suites in this hotel. We have a very nice um, balcony. We'll show you tomorrow our view. Now, let's go to have some dinner. <laughs> The following morning, we went out really early, even before the locals went to their respective workplaces. My husband and I were surprised and the town's beauty exceeded our expectations. Although the town is particularly small, this is the right place where one would dream of drinking a cup of coffee or a glass of wine overlooking the horizon where the sea and sky meet. Greeks are generally friendly, however, the locals that we've met in Monavasia are exceptional. We even met an old man who gave us tips on where we could get good photos and videos without asking anything in exchange. We strolled in the town's cute narrow streets quietly with only the two of us and a few locals starting their daily chores. Although the weather wasn't the best, it was still a very romantic experience and we felt that we were back in time. It 
was so difficult to not stop in every corner. Everything looked unpretentiously beautiful and worth immortalizing through photos and videos. The Lady of the Cats. I start throwing them like in the Simpsons. We went back to the hotel to eat our breakfast before we continued exploring more of the town. We just finished eating our breakfast and showering before checking out and we're gonna keep exploring this very beautiful town. We're going to the top of the mountain. There is a path going on top of the rock where you can find ruins and Hagia Sophia, the most important between the Byzantine churches in Monembasia. so many city gates and that's one of the reasons why this city was very well protected. On top of the rock, we enjoyed the panoramic views around and the rich botanical variety of the island. We are so lucky because this storm was supposed to arrive before sunrise. Now look at that. Wow. Before leaving Monevasia, we ate our lunch in this local restaurant. We wanted to stay longer, but we already booked our hotels in our next destination. Monevasia is one of those places that we would love to visit again in the future. That ends the second episode of our Peloponnese Greece travel series. Thanks for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to help us grow our channel. Stay tuned for our third episode because there is so much more to discover in this area of Greece.
I hope to see you again in our next episode. Until then, keep exploring rain or shine.